great rivalries, but of all the feuds in this sport, there's only one that I know of that will bring 200,000 people into a community and generate $50 million in the local economy and still have a winner advances, loser goes home football game as a result. The Bayou Classic between Southern and Grambling, the winner goes on to the SWAT championship game, but the football, as you know, just part of the show. There's already a parade that's going on right now. It started a few moments ago in New Orleans, and sometimes the battle of the bands is even the centerpiece. When Southern and Grambling meet, Grambling has the world-famed Tiger marching band, and man, do they put on a show. You guys have seen this. Oh, yeah, we saw it in person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we, we did that down in Houston one year. That was awesome. Awesome. And then Southern's band's called the Human Jukebox. The band directors, like coaches, have said they've been ready for this for the full year. And we're thankful for the spectacle, but you got to be thankful for the game, too. It doesn't take a backseat. As I mentioned, winner goes on to face Alcorn State, SWAC title game. Austin Howard, Southern, he is a completion machine. But it has been Mr. Excitement. Martez Carter last year, he won the game for Grambling. 88-yard punt return. That Tiger mantra has been stormed the land and burned the ships to try to get to that SWAC title game. And we're thankful to see that one. Several other.